So the beauty to learn about all of these patients that we are seeing today is I aim for the highest vision their brain has. What yeah. I call BVP, best vision potential. If it's beyond 2020, so be it. You want it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's the concept. And you're seeing the patients are so educated. Mm. They're able to relate to you. Yeah. Now, one more thing's happening here, which I taught you that day. It's called the price you pay. Yeah. yeah. She's going to hold me accountable to achieve that outcome. Yeah, you have to perform. So that's the price you have to pay for being excellent and driven. She has been given glasses and she's been wearing them and the doctor apparently did a good job of making her good vision with glasses. But mm -hmm. look at the vision with the refraction I've just done, which has to be even better because I'm always aiming for beyond 2020, right? So this is perception. She can read that, correct Ashley? All right. Take off your glasses now, please, and read through this. Tell me if you see any difference, please, on a scale of 1 to 10. It's much clearer. <laughs> How much? One to ten. Uh, ten. <laughs> what does that mean, doctor? Her perception is, and visual acuity can be better. Six Very years. good. Yeah. Twenty twenty is mm. not the final thing. No. Right. More important point. What am I trying to say? She has been living with these glasses, glasses yes. mm -hmm. which, according to her, is giving her best vision, yeah. which it is actually it's depriving. Not. So we can do it again because actually, again, as a teacher, I love to be very strict with everything. Mm -hmm. Put it on again, Ashley. Come on. Okay. And she can read it, so I don't care about her memorizing this. Yeah. All right. Read yeah. that, please. L D D D. Lovely. And she's seeing it perfect. All right. Read it backward, Ashley. Come on. Okay. D D D. Beautiful. <laughs> Take off your glasses. Now this is what I have personally refracted her with. I go strength by strength with the streak. That's why I want her to learn streak. Okay. How much, Ashley? Ten. So 10 on 10 improvement was missing and she's going about her life mm -hmm. being from the medical profession. So how else, how much can you let a patient down? Mm -hmm. So this is the numbers that I will go for when I do my laser plus take on her next week. Mm -hmm. Correct Ashley? Yes. Excited? Very, very excited. So boom. <laughs> so we have, uh, Kay has just traveled to us today. She had uh, multifocal and mm -hmm. um, quick brief history Kay, of yours. You had surgery in North Carolina. Yes, right. I had the Restore lenses implanted right. in 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, along with that, uh, uh, about a month later, LASIK in my right eye. So they did LASIK, which means what, doctor? The lens that implanted was not perfect, so they had to correct. They tried to at least take care of it and help her. Her vision is still not good. Mm -hmm. She's still blurry and she's come here for what options? So this is what I was talking about. The biggest fl patients flying to us, traveling to us, is those who have had premium cataract surgery. But like I said, premium doesn't mean just put the premium lens in. It has to match the vision recipe. Mm -hmm. Here's a perfect example. And what do you think I did first? Check vision. Very good. So I refracted. Here we go. Not so good, correct? No. Correct. One, three. One. See how strong she is. If I take away my refraction, there's basically an oblique astigmatism of 0.5 and myopia of 0.5, but more important, she's been irregular cornea and the posterior cornea, which hasn't been checked. Mm -hmm. oh. Clear? Mm -hmm. So even though they have done LASIK on the restore and think they got it, she's still 2050 and with glare and complaints. Mm -hmm. So with this refraction, I have simulated for her the spherical, the cone of sphenoid. What's that? Like a spherical refraction? The spherical aberration mm -hmm. cause, right? As yeah. we have on the the cone, the, the focus cone here. Mm -hmm. So if you look at that, this refraction gives her that much difference and it's just 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Yeah. But I will now use that with my knowledge as a skewed cross astigmatism axis mm -hmm. and correct it with the laser in four minutes. Okay. And she's done, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, so if I have to ask her, what's the other thing I do, doctor? My perceptive test, remember? Mm -hmm. So now what I'll do for her is, okay, can you do this for me? Cover your right eye with your hand, please. Can you read that? Uh, it's real blurry. Sure. R-H something Z at the end. Now, can you imagine? The doctor who did this must be an excellent surgeon. They've done a restore lens and they've done LASIK and she's still struggling at 2070. Mm -hmm. So is it really premium surgery? No. You get my point? Come forward. Take off your hand now and see with this now. Give me a number 1 to 10. How much better? 10. No. So what is left? What is left, doctor? Yeah, I mean... So you can see now the numbers are very low, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Yeah. But basically I have unopened or I've 
discovered her posterior corneal stigmatism like I was just talking, teaching to you. Mm -hmm. And now we can fix that with a laser procedure in about three minutes. Mm -hmm. So here's her uh, RI, here are her multifocal lenses. They've done a YAG capsulotomy and LASIK. You see the LASIK flap edge here, mm -hmm. correct? Look at the topography. All this is important, but to me, my main portion is vision, vision and reflection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter where the patient travels from. Today you've seen all these impromptu patients, all of them being done by excellent surgeons. All of them have had premium surgeries, and none of them are seeing great. And yet it's such an easy fix because you have to fix the recipe. Mm -hmm. It's not just the ingredient. Yeah, they That's think true they have premium. Only corrected the front surface, but they have forgotten the you know forgotten recipe. anything that affects vision. Yeah. If this is a case of thin cornea, high regular astigmatism, high myopia too, right? Mm -hmm. We've done her surgery. She's doing great. Mm -hmm. And here we are. I had staged her for the dry eye treatment. Vision is doing excellent. And again, she's a patient who are called, they're not candidate. Patients like these are called not a candidate because of thin cornea, high regular astigmatism, form proofs. And how's the vision test? Perfect. Perfect. That's the word I like. <laughs> she's 2015. It's over a year now, correct? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Vision doing great. How's the night vision test? The same. Excellent. The same yeah. So that's the question yeah. you had yeah. Yeah. with the eight millimeter zone. Mm -hmm. You can even take form for scape course and night vision tells in particular tell them both these are experienced doctors. I'm trying to show them how impromptu patients like you all, it is possible. There is no such thing as can't be done. How's your night vision test? It's clear. Right? Mm -hmm. Again, same. How's your reading test? It's good. Right? Yeah. So and consistency. Yeah. And um, another thing, just for your knowledge, again, Dr. Hugh from Chicago, any pain during your surgery test? No, I didn't feel any pain. 100% we've asked everybody? Yeah. Okay. Everybody? Yeah? yeah? Everyone, no pain. Okay. Test, congratulations. Thank Have fun. You. Again, he's a phenomenal person, high IQ, demanding, banker, correct, Nelson? Awesome. And came in with presbyopia that no one wanted to correct because age is not enough for cataract, you're old enough for this. So we did my press biopic laser plastic technique. And now how many years out are we now, sir? Uh, about five. Still yeah. seeing? Yep. Perfect. 2020 distance, 2020 near, as you can see. <laughs> then I operated on your daughter, Molly, from Emory University. Mm -hmm. She's doing great. She also had come with thin cornea, high regular astigmatism. Oh. Doctor, what do you do for those cases? Thin cornea, high astigmatism, irregular? Nothing. Very good. She's <laughs> still doing <laughs> yeah. So again, impromptu patients you're seeing, but this is possible. This is press biopic surgery done. Sure. He is free. And by the way, we have actually postponed his cataract by giving him so much visual acuity. Mm. Even though as he ages, and I see them myself, right? Every year following up with them, doing fantastic. There's nothing to look at. And if you see his cornea, there's no evidence. This is how he came here. He had very big chalazium, mm -hmm. literally big enough like a lump, right, Scott? Uh, on his right lower lid. Mm -hmm. And look how he looks right now. Oh. Take off your hat a little bit, Scott. See this. You see that? Completely gone. Mm -hmm. Okay? And no, no need for surgery. I go through a special, uh, it's like a probe that I've designed, which goes in exactly into the most impacting gland. And uh, how bad was the procedure, Scott? Not bad at all. <laughs> and it's over. Mm. And if you can see how big this was, his skin side was also causing a problem, mm. not only inside. Mm. And as you know, it's so big. Chalazin always is like the tip of the iceberg, right? Because it grows so much underneath. Mm -hmm. The whole thing drained perfect once we were in the right myeloma right, gland. Mm -hmm. And there's the result. Oh, wow. So this procedure is called NICE, non-incisional chalazin excision. Mm. Okay. Scott, any words you want to share? He was actually... You were actually booked for surgery with some other doctor, if I remember. Yeah, and I uh, I watched videos on the typical procedure, and it was pretty violent. Yeah, and I didn't really understand how they could do that <laughs> and actually be successful without it re recurring. And then that's what he explained <laughs> his procedure, and I'm yeah. very glad I, I chose it. Yeah, or, and you can't like, even tell. Yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. But congratulations, you know, real surgery. Yes, that this is an amazing procedure. Yeah. yeah, because what we learned is you know, if I had cut it down, yeah. <laughs> scoop it out. Well, it's a that's a bad surgery. Now, everybody does that, please. It's not I know wrong. that's how we have been learn learning. Yeah, yeah. it's but a gross procedure, causes scarring horizontally yes. and patient recovery and expensive. Yes, this is like Scott.
trained and it right and sometimes extra pian also or anything but with this you can you can see the cosmic is right away when he came on big lump and i remember his story because he came telling me he was booked for surgery with someone and i said that's not what i will do we were start our discussion mm-hmm. it was very intense yeah i said no way cuz i wanted to done the staff to do like i have a surgery schedule i'm going down i said you can go but i will not yeah <laughs> and we he, 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 he agreed and i appreciate that scott i'm yeah. thrilled with you. you cannot there's nothing imagine yeah nothing and imagine these are the most difficult chalazin because not only are they inside his skin also could have scars yeah. so you can see that's a skin side with yeah. the blood yeah. yeah so excellent and he has left the gland functioning again yes the gland that's, that's exactly yeah. right so you exactly. know destroyed it yes yes I mean, because his next level is what doctor what is the next thing in my mind for him um like after this uh-huh. but always no it has checked his vision very good so he is <laughs> breast biopic hyperopia oh, at no. his age i will do lensoplastic but now that's a luxury he can plan whatever he wants mm. yeah. again everything that i do cannot harm the next step right it has to be elegant architect remember we discussed yeah so now this also we did so well that now we are ready for his vision when oh he's ready yeah. so that's chalaise in a very common condition lump on the lid that you see in your practices right. mm-hmm. uh, chicago or broad wherever you practice and that's the way it should be corrected not the surgery yeah right mm-hmm. great come wonderful so you can have come but if you can see here traumatic cataract you see this small mm-hmm. pupil mm-hmm. traumatic cataract iridodialysis mm-hmm. correct mm-hmm. right yeah. and previous lasix mm. so the concerns here you have are what doctor first of all the zone lo dialysis so the lens may not be stable mm-hmm. second the iris defect third the small pupil fourth the dense cataract fifth inaccuracy of measurement because previous lasik mm-hmm. correct correct huh? and here he is post up yep perfect see that plus it's a premium lens technology there mm-hmm. and what's his vision can today 2020 how much 2020 yes 2020 without Any complications, glasses, no contacts, no nothing, right? Mm-hmm. And what did he do a week after surgery? No, Ken went hunting. <laughs> <laughs> That's my patient. He went to Texas hunting. Mm-hmm. So went and played basketball the next day. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> But that's a pleasure. Again, no stitch if you see that. And that's yeah. by the way day one picture. Mm. So that's the importance again from the cases that you're constantly seeing today of patients coming in back. is day one post up vision accuracy their comfort and my desire or confidence of letting them go and do something as accurate as hunting mm-hmm. and now you're telling me basketball without a stitch with a traumatic situation mm-hmm. got it well the most important um things i i gleaned from this experience was his willingness to fight he said mm-hmm. can we're going to fight 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 for your vision Mm-hmm. and that gave me the confidence that uh, this was going to be successful and and I've got someone who's fighting for me and I can't tell you how that has affected me and my four businesses that I run we run into mm-hmm. a problem guys we're just going to fight 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 mm-hmm. until we until we become a, wow. until we make this who came from Egypt you can see that's a cataract cataract is unlike intact which are segment that's a whole segment whole circle so 355 cataract You can see the profile on the penicam. You can see the ring in the cornea. Now this patient had multiple surgeries: PTK, PRK, cross-linking three times uh, in Dubai, London, Canada, Egypt, uh, California, and left a very poor vision, very thin cornea. You can see that. And a very young man, uh, 25 years old, and he's been told nothing can be done. And that's when the Dubai surgeon had him fly over here. He came with an entire family, as you can see there, and. Uh, Again, what would I do, Doc? Check retract. Exactly. I don't care how many surgeries he's had. Well, how how thin is the cornea, right, Doc? Yes. I don't care. It's a young man who deserves to see. I started retracting. He retracted for 2040. Yeah. And throw out his notes. Guess what? Nobody has even tried to retract it because they just assumed. Yeah. He's blind. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So first thing is his own revelation, and then what do I make him do, Doc? I will. perception test right yeah. what did he give me yeah 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 okay so we went ahead uh-huh. and boom straight 2025 vision mm-hmm. correct how many minutes 4 minutes so what you did in this case is plastic that's it that's it left his ring in place 
Again, another concept, what you were asking, what if you had surgery before? Yeah. The point is, whoever doctor did that, even though it didn't do it accurately, at least it's done. Yeah. So now my cornea, no matter the fact that someone did the complete GPS wrong, what is my GPS? That's another thing I've taught you. Planning system, body planning system, but it's a GPS, it's a sequence. Yeah. He's been cross-linked and the impact has been put first, which is backwards. Yeah. But no matter what they did, they have stabilized my cornea. I can bravely go and do my laser. So you see how you turn any situation around. It doesn't matter how many surgeries, how many complications, all the surgeons were in touch with me, but all of them assume that he will not see that. Exactly. Exactly. And four minutes later, the guy is jumping out, and here he is, and this year he came back for his second eye after COVID. <laughs> and he flooded our whole room with gifts. This guy, amazing. And his whole family. Uh, that's his dentist uh, surgeon, uh, sister from Egypt, and the other sister, she's an artist. Mm. His father, uh, he makes hospitals in Egypt. So my point is, there is no limit to care and connection. No limits. Yes. So that's the A minus B, is it? The, the yes, correct. Is, correct. So that distortion there uh -huh. will cause any, any issue? Zero. What's the reason now? What work does he do? He's a firefighter. Can anything get more tough? And he works at night. No, that's why I asked that. Yes, so that's why I didn't talk about it. <laughs> you get my point? Anybody else would keep that up and not have a whole conference on this. It doesn't make sense, yes. man. My patient's a firefighter working at night at 2015 vision. Mm -hmm. How can you discuss this? And now he's three years out, if I remember. He's three years post now. What can you say? The department is important, but I'm doing this between the three of us. I do this more for teaching than anything. I didn't look at it. Yeah. Why should I look? Yeah. The vision is more important than this exactly. picture. Exactly. All this technology is there, but this is more for me to relate to the doctors who are referring them that hey guys, here you go. Are you happy? Oh, Dr. Rohit is amazing. Patient has zero stigmatism. You did magic. Alright, good. Thanks. That wasn't the reason for me to say that. My point was, did you see his vision? Mm -hmm. 2015. That's the important. So, you hear? Yeah. That's how keratoconus can be seen 2020, 2015. When you saw the previous cases, no matter how complex, they can be corrected. Correct? Yeah. All right? Good. Okay. He had cross linking three times mm -hmm. Canada, California, Miami. Three times. Three times. And what's the only thing they didn't correct? Lovely. Yeah. Guess where he lives? He went all over the world. He lives like a mile away. Oh. Ah. <laughs> so he came and his surgeon finally sent him over and he said, you know, go get it fixed. So we corrected him. He's 25. Oh. Got it? Mm -hmm. He's a stand-up comedian. Look at his astigmatism from 2.5 to 0.7. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Do you see that shape? Mm -hmm. So how many cross linkings can you have before you correct? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is the way I do my case. Now, this is the firefighter I showed you. See my sequence. He came in with the left hand. You see that? 4D right eye. Keratoconus diagnosed. Correct? Yeah. Now, 1.7 astigmatism. Look at after my laser plastic his vision. What's the astigmatism? Zero. Zero doctor. Do you see that? Yeah. Because he's very young. What do I do? He was 2015 vision. Oh yeah, yeah. So I went to the cross link. You know? That's the guy who does the night stuff now for firefighters. Imagine. 2015 vision. A dark for care of vision. 2015. That's my sequence. That's GPS. Understand? We did the vision and quickly jumped and cross link. Great. Next, uh, next thing. Are we done? She must have put some prototype though, like 70, 80 slides. That's it. that's it. But you got the point.